Dang it, MTV News. You were doing so well. You managed to go an entire month without posting any social justice warrior nonsense. What on earth compelled you to get back into the fray? Oh, I guess that explains it. Well, let's get this over with. First off, try to recognize that America was never great for anyone who wasn't a white guy. So America has never been great for any black celebrity, any black CEOs, or even any of the black slave owners in the 1800s. Got it. Can we all just agree that Black Lives Matter isn't the opposite of All Lives Matter? You got it backwards. It's All Lives Matter that's considered the opposite of Black Lives Matter. Furthermore, if you want me to support BLM, I'm sorry, but that's not going to happen. BLM wants total abolition of the police, and that's not something that a random member of the movement stated. Alicia Garza herself has advocated for police-free communities, and even advocated for total abolition of the police on her Twitter. This is one of the three co-founders of the movement that's saying this. So unless you can manage to convince me that police-free communities somehow won't end with total anarchy, then you will never get me to support this movement, so long as it's spearheaded by people who support this idea. Also, Blue Lives Matter isn't a thing. Cops weren't born with blue skin? <laughs> hey, look, it's that white guy who magically turned black. <laughs> right? I mean... Yeah! They weren't born blue! That doesn't mean they should have to sacrifice their lives to spare thugs like Michael Brown who are attacking them, reaching for their guns, and charging at them. And before you say anything, I'm well aware that that's not always the case, but those cases are still defended by Black Lives Matter, even after the facts reveal that the cop acted in the right. Learn what mansplaining is, and then stop doing it. Let's see here. Of a man, explain something to someone, typically a woman, in a manner regarded as condescending or patronizing. Frankly, I find the Urban Dictionary definitions to be far more accurate based on how the term is commonly used. Oh, and if you're a judge, don't prioritize the well-being of an Ivy League athlete over the woman he assaulted. Okay, I actually agree with this statement. That judge definitely should have been disbarred. We all love Beyonce. Meh. And yeah, she's black, so of course she cares about black issues! No, she doesn't. She only jumped on the Black Lives Matter bandwagon because it's trendy. Do you really think Beyonce cares about police brutality? Is that why she based an entire performance around fetishizing riot police during the 2010 Grammys? She literally pranced around on stage with dancing riot police, and everyone loved her for it. Because six years ago, riot police were trendy. But in 2016, hating on police is cool. That's what sells records. That's why Beyonce has riot cops surrendering in her video for Formation. That's why she promotes urban terrorism in her video for Hold Up. Because black people smashing up their own communities is such a positive message. In the lyrics for Formation, Beyonce brags about how proud she is of her Jackson 5 Negro nostrils. In fact, Beyonce is so proud of being black that she bleaches her skin to make herself look as white as possible. Feel free to take Kanye West, though. You guys can have him. You know what you did, Kanye. I think you mean, you know what you said, Kanye. Kanye didn't vote for anyone, but said that if he had, he probably would have voted for Trump. Because, little known fact, black people have autonomy and are free to support candidates that you don't like. Guys, we know nobody's perfect. But honestly, you could do a little better in 2017. Well, I'll start by tearing down more idiotic videos like this one. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.